Hey there, it's Paul from Pixel Vault, and today I'm going to show you some of the finer points of the Eero app. Eero is a Wi Fi uh, network for residential, and uh, if you've just recently had this installed or you're in the decision making process and you are uh, interested in the features of the app, I'm going to walk you through them. So, uh, this is what the app looks like when you first open it. And if I tap this little chevron that is pointing down, it will show me all of the uh, internet and Eero devices that are on my system. So, internet is your actual modem. And then I have three Eero devices in my home two in the basement and one in the living room. So, if I tap the living room, it's going to show me what I can do with this specific Eero. So for example, Eero has an LED light on the top of it to show you that it is on and connected to the network. However, it also comes with a night light, which is great for, you know, if you have young kids and you might have one of these placed in the hallway. Uh, gives you your IP address. And if we go all the way down here to advanced, we can click that and you have this restart living room Eero. And why would you need that? Let's say for example, and I've never used it myself, but let's say for example, you called the cable company and said, hey, I'm having problem with my internet. And they say, okay, great, go to your router, unplug it, count to 10 and plug it back in. That's essentially what you're doing here, but you're just gonna do it all from the app. So you just click restart and then restart again, and it will power the unit down, power it back up, and if all goes well, you will have green bars, the green Wi-Fi uh, light up, and it probably takes, uh, let's call it 15 to 20 seconds before it's back on the network. Another great thing about these is if you're using Eero beacons, they are they just plug into an electrical outlet so you can put them anywhere in the house where you might need them so let's say for example you're working from home because of covid and you decide that you want to work on the patio but you don't have great signal on the patio well great just grab one of your Eero devices take it near the door wall and plug it in and give it 15 to 20 seconds and boom you've got great wi-fi out on your patio so uh that's uh, a great feature of Eero as well. S uh, as we scroll down, we're gonna see the profiles of everybody that is on the network. We're going to see all of the computers and personal devices that are on our network, the entertainment and other devices that are on the network, as well as devices that were recently on the network. So you get a little information, a lot of information there. And again, this is Eero is great for uh, families with kids. Let's say, for example, Adam's iPhone, who is actually my son. I'm going to tap Adam's iPhone. And if I don't want him online after, say, for example, 930, I am just going to hit the pause button and he can no longer get online with his phone. And you can do that with Xbox or PlayStation or what have you. So it kind of uh, evens the odds for parents out there. Let's move on to activity. So down at the bottom of the uh, of the app, you can just tap activity, and this is going to show you your speeds. So let's talk about speeds very quickly. Uh, you have two speeds when you sign up for an internet package from your provider, a download and an upload speed. There's always a wide disparity between those two numbers. If you don't know, I'm gonna walk you through this very quickly. Downloads are the speed in which you are bringing information into your home. So let's say, for example, you're watching a YouTube video or what have you. Upload is the speed in which you are sending things out. So for example, an email for work. We don't care how fast that email leaves our home as long as it leaves. So that's why the large disparity. You can run a speed test by just tapping run speed test and it will start the speed test. It takes a couple of minutes and it'll give you your speeds. So that way you can check to see if there is a, a problem with your cable provider or what have you. You can go to Discover, and these are some more advanced features that we're really not going to get too involved with here. Eero Secure is a paid service that provides, obviously, security for your network, and they charge incrementally um, monthly for that. Let's go to Settings, and this is where you're going to find your SSID, which is your the name of your network and your password information. Really great thing about Eero is that you don't have to remember this. So if somebody comes over your home 
and needs to get on the Wi-Fi and they obviously need to know the password and you can't remember it, you can simply just go to the network. I'm on guest network right now, but I can go to main network and I can just tap share QR code. They can open their device, open their uh, camera, point it at this QR code and they will automatically be given access to the network. So really cool. You can also share Wi-Fi details. So for example, you're having a babysitter come over and she's not there yet and you're going to be leaving before she gets there. You can send them over to her that way. Uh, so you have a main network and a guest network, which you can turn on or off. So if you want to turn it off, you just tap here. If you want to turn it back on, it's back on. It's just that simple. So there are a lot of great features with Eero. Are you going to use them or do you need to be in this app all the time? No, you, you really don't. The Wi-Fi is bulletproof. It works really well. So unless you're doing some, some really great parenting, uh, you're, you're probably not going to be in the app all that much. However, it's put together really well. It works seamlessly, and when you do need to make those changes, everything is just right in the palm of your hand. So Eero is a great service. I highly recommend it, and uh, you can't go wrong.